merged into four. Um, this is the new bit of the DBI. It uh, ships with the DBI. It's a scalable stateless proxy. So it's a scalable, scalable stateless proxy architecture. It's a set of modules that you can plug and play, mix and match, subclass, do a lot of things with. It's transport in independent. You'll see later there's a lot of different transports available. Uh, a lot of buzzwords. Well tested. It's important to note that this proxy is tested as we're using the DBI's own test suite. So whenever a feature is added to the DBI test suite, it will automatically be tested through Gopher. Okay, uh, da, 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 that's all very boring stuff. Okay, uh, basically what it does is it, the application makes D, DBI method calls, the driver tries to not forward those requests until the last possible moment, and it tries to make as few round trips as possible. So apart from being efficient in CPU time itself, it's mostly focused on reducing the number of round trips. And every round trip it does make is completely atomic, so every round trip could go to a different Gopher server. Okay, you enable it usually by using the DBI auto proxy, you just need to say something like that, um, and all your DBI calls will automatically be routed through Gopher. It comes with two transports, uh, null transports, very useful for testing. Uh, for proving that your application logic works well with Gopher. The stream transport lets you, for example, SSH into a remote system that you can log into and automatically start up the server side. You don't have to have a daemon running the whole time. It'll start up the other side. There's a separate HTTP mod Perl transport, um, and, which is very useful, and we'll find later. There's also a Gearman transport. Does anyone use Gearman? There you go, there's Gearman transport basically distributes your work across a pool of workers. Uh, it comes with various policies, configurable policies for how it trades round trips for transparency. There's a pedantic policy, does a lot of round trips, very transparent. Classic policy is, is the default, tries not to make so many round trips. And if you're really desperate, rush makes the absolute bare minimum of round trips. Okay, big thing, big caveat is it's stateless and so no transactions at the moment. It possibly could be added later. Here's an example of using the HTTP transport and putting the Gopher servers behind uh, a load balancer. So this has transitions on the da 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 So basically, currently have 6,000 connections in this example. You add this new tier with, with your load balancer. Uh, it gives you failover and load balancing. There's your Gopher servers. Uh, far fewer connections there. And most interestingly, you can add caching. Does it isn't supported yet, but you can add, use a web cache to cache your DBI requests. Basically, what, what we're doing here is we're turning the DBI API into a web service. So you'd be able to talk to it from other languages. As built-in retries, uh, there's a quick comparison with proxy. What it doesn't do is transactions are very large results. That's where proxy is still the win, but for everything else, Gopher is the way to go. Um, Web caching is what's going to happen very soon. JSON serialization to give access to other languages coming very soon. Client caching, uh, probably soon. Support transactions, there you go.